All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. What I want to talk to you today about is how I basically took a 3D model from Sketchfab and basically brought it in, rigged it, brought it into another thing, added animations to it, took it into Unreal Engine, and being able to create something. So as you see here, um, what we're doing is my boy, he draws comics, and he loves the Roblox and Minecraft and all of that goodness. And he said he wanted to be able to make his story a reality. So what I did was I told him, like, all right, cool, we can make that happen. But you got to do all of the animations. You got to do the voiceover. You got to do all of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build this world for you. So I know he wanted uh, 3D model characters that was Roblox characters. I'm new to this. So since I learned this, I wanted to be able to show you all how I did this. So first off, what I went through is I uh, pulled up Sketchfab. As you can see in here, I just typed in Roblox and um, I know his characters. He needs two of them for his animation. So I grabbed up these 3D models. I want to give Trina McCoy give a shout out to um, this person right here. I pretty much they made and created this um, 3D model right here. So if they go through, I just went through and downloaded an FBX original file right there. So you can do that. From that, what you'll start to see is in there, you might get uh, these 3D models could come in a little small in scale. So I opened up Blender. I'm not saying that I opened up Blender like I am some Blender expert. Do not know it like that. I'm talking about the basics of things. That's what I did. So if we open up General in here, I already start off by deleting that initial uh, cube that you get with it. Then what I did was I'm going to go through and I'm going to import. All right. So I'm going to import. You might see me moving off to the side. I got the camera in the front, so I'm not trying to get my face. I'm trying to see what on my screen. So in here, if we go to downloads, excuse the mess. I have this as a running. So that was the download that I did. It's running because it has an animation like it's running. I'm going to uncheck that just because I don't need any animations in here. I just want that 3D model. So I'm going to import that. Now, if you look, we're like, where are our model at, right? This is the scaling I'm talking about. That scaling could be a little bit small. And we don't want that. So, what I only thing I'm doing in Blender, and Blender is a free download. If we go over here, we see our scale. If we look at our scale, it's at 0 0.010. I'm going to bump that bad boy up to, let's go 10. We're going to hit that, make it 10, hit that, make it 10. So, now, if we get back in here, there we go. We got a decent model size now. So that's what I want. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all of this is highlighted. We're going to go to export. And we're going to export this as a OBJ, a wavefront experimental. Boom. So in here, I'm just going to add downloads and put this in here. And just for the video, I'm just going to call this a YT, YouTube tutorial. All right, so we're just going to add this as a YouTube tutorial. All right, so we're going to make sure everything is you can look. You can just copy what I put in here and we're going to export that. That's all we need to do here. If you want to, you can save this because you might want to go through and scale a little bit larger, make it a little bit smaller, depending on whatever you want. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to exit out of here. I'm not going to save it because I don't need that. See, we're back here. All right. So then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to open up what's called AccuRig. So basically actor core AccuRig is something that you can bring 3D models into and basically be able to rig them. So it's just going to help you It's like a, a cheat sheet for rigging. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. We're going to get rid of load up. This is that YouTube tutorial. So. So now we have it here. This is our 3D model. You don't have to worry about the textures right now because when you download it uh, from the Sketchfab or whatever site that you download your 3D model from, they usually have a folder. You'll have the, um, the textures that you can be able to add in later. So I'm going to put those in here later. So now it's time to be going to this bottom right. We're going to rig this body. So we are rigging it. It's going to go through. I'm probably going to skip some of this stuff so it can move a little faster. 
All right, so now that we got this all together, if we look in our top right, we can see how a, a human body is supposed to look rigged. You got all the points. That's what these points are here. I'm not gonna give you a full breakdown on how to go through and this kind of all your choices, but if you see if I grab and hover, it'll show on the right hand side, um, basically what we're looking at and where it's supposed to go placement wise. So I'm just gonna put these things here. I kind of already got a little bit of feel of what I need. We're gonna to go to rig. It's gonna say rig right hand. Depending on what kind of 3D model you have, you might have fingers and you wanna rig those because you might have the mocap gloves or depending on how you wanna do it. Here I'm using this Roblox character. I'm not worrying about actual finger movement, so I'm just gonna put zero and we're gonna click next. It's going to calculate. I'm gonna probably skip some of this right here because it's just going to go through. All right, so we are back. So here we can see we have our uh, 3D model and it is rigged. And you can take a look at some of these preview motions just to make sure that all of your stuff is all uh, legit and set up. You can also make little tweaks in here too. So let's say for instance, as I'm playing this, his arms kind of go through his body. So we can actually click on that arm and we can do a little bit of adjustment if we wanted to and then we can continue playing. This is basically how our character is going to be. So we have that there. Once we're all done and we got it finalized to what we want it to look like, we go to export. Here you can export just an FBX depending on what, um, what program you're taking it into so to be able to work on your animations. This is what you can do. You can use Omniverse. What I'm going to be using is iClone 8. So I'm going to use this one where it says save, save Ive Avatar. So what we're going to do is we're going to still call this the YouTube tutorial one. We're going to have this one set up. So that's what we're going to use for this as well. So we're just going to save that bad boy. That's that. You can save this section. I'm not because this is just a tutorial. I'm just trying to show you that. So I'm just going to exit out of here and I'm not going to save it. All right. So now we're in here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our file. We're going to import. We're going to bring in that YouTube tutorial 3D model that we just made. Yeah, so this is where we can start to get the texture on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the materials. And then if we look, some materials, you might have to put multiple ones in there. This one just have one because it's just a Roblox 3D model. It's probably just one setting. So I'm going to go on there. We're going to go to load. And I know that this is for bacon hair. I'm going to double click that. We have our stuff here. So what I'm going to also do is my boy, he made a bunch of animations. So I'm going to put this one in here, getting recall 12. So this is all animations from the XN's mocap. I'm just going to drag and drop that bad boy over. If we go to motion profile, I know it's through the XN's. If you got like Mixamo, you can pretty much look and see whatever kind of things that they have for your character there. I'm just using XNs because that's what I use. So convert. We're going to convert that. It's basically retargeting it. And now if you see what we got here, if we hit play, we got the little moves. All right. So that's my boy. He got the moves. He getting it. Yep. He getting it. That's right. Get that. He getting it. There we go. All right. This new generation is crazy. So we got that. And then from there, all you have to do is, is get ready to export these things out. Use the steps that you do to basically bring in your animation into your um, software for rendering out or whatever kind of things. Like me, for instance, I am using the Unreal Engine and that's how I have this in here with this world. And then we can just look at him, get it. So. Hopefully this was something good for you. I know it's kind of long, but I really wanted to just break down the workflow because it's something that I picked up in the past couple of days actually learning how to rig um, 3D models from from that you'll get things from Sketchfab or like Turbo Squid when it's kind of like you want to be able to turn these things into those animations, but you don't know how. So that's the, um, the stuff. Hopefully you got something from this. If not, you know what? You got to see my face, right? So. Enjoy, keep creating, and uh, get out there and make it happen.